home for 22 days quarantine. Let me tell you what my beautiful wife is going through. She's alone. We have a three-year-old son and a two-month-old daughter. So for 22 days, I'm hearing my kids yell, scream. My son's asking where daddy is. My wife is losing her mind. I'm getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner delivered to my room. <laughs> I'm like, damn, COVID ain't that bad. <laughs> Dude, that's messed up. <laughs> Oh, man. But it's true, right? <laughs> Welcome back. That was a clip from I Never Thought, the second comedy special from two-time Emmy-nominated comedian and actor Michael Yo. And he is here in yes! studio with us now. Yes! Give it up! We, we have never had a guest lead their own applause. That <laughs> yeah, you got to do that sometimes. You know, you got to get people hyped up for you. <laughs> what is your wife's reaction to that? Uh, not good. You know? No, no, she loves it. She took care of me when I was in that bad state of COVID, and to put the story out there so people can actually like feel something uh -huh. and attach somebody to it. That's the whole reason I shot this special. Yeah, yeah. And, and all jokes aside, you actually had a near-death yeah. experience with COVID and you turned it around and, and found a way to laugh at it. Yeah, I was the first person in that hospital, St. Joseph's Burbank, first person in that hospital with COVID wow. that went to ICU. Wow. And it was to the point where like a lot of things were happening that in my mind, I was like, okay, if I make it, this is going to be funny. You know <laughs> what I mean? So I, I, kept a, I kept a stock on it in my head, but yeah, it was serious. It, it was, it got really serious where I could have died and they, that doctor saved my life and they tested every drug on me wow. and to, wow. cause they would test a drug on me and send out the report. Wow. And then, uh, yeah. So, you, you know, and also in those moments, right? You're, you're a comedian. It's so what you do. You've been doing it for a long time, but do you always try to find, is it hard to be funny? in a moment where you're having a literally a near-death experience. It, it's not funny in the, in, the moment, in the moment, but after it, you're like, okay, this could be a funny joke. Like for instance, they tested every drug on me. The first one they gave me was hydroxychloroquine, mm -hmm. right? So I had an allergic reaction, almost died to it that night. Wow. But this is what the doctor said before he left the room. He goes, man, we learned something new today. <laughs> and to me, at the moment, <laughs> At the moment, that was funny, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to write this as a joke. <laughs> so, in your darkest hour, you're writing down jokes. A hundred percent, because wow. I was like, if I make it, this is going to be a fantastic story. And I did, and I did. <laughs> you said you were nervous about shooting this special. Why? I was nervous because I self-funded it. I did it, mm. uh, you know, I wanted to, after I survived COVID, through that near-death experience, I wanted to bet on myself 100%. My good friend Joe Coy yep. taught me that. He betted on himself, and he took off, and he was my mentor in comedy. Mm -hmm. So he took me around the country and taught me how to do comedy. So, yeah, it, it's all about that's why when you're spending your own money on something, <laughs> it's scary, you know, and you want to make it back. So You said he was kind of a mentor to you, but part of that was telling you not just to dip your foot in it. Like, go, you said things took off when you decided to actually he, commit. He said, if you're going to do stand-up, you you got to get out. Mm. You got to you got to stop doing what you're doing. I was an entertainment reporter mm. and I go, I need to go 100% with comedy mm. and uh, really get out there and it's so fulfilling mm. knowing that you're doing your own thing and working for yourself. So, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, I'm excited. Oh, my goodness. Well, man, congrats on everything. Thank it's you. good to have and you you've been in good health since that. Uh, yeah, it took run. 9 months to get better, oh, but I, I I feel good now. Fog every once in a while, but oh. hey, we're we're figuring it all out. So, it, I'm just happy to be alive. You know, you know? what? That's yeah. Big smile on your face and appreciation. We can see. No, no, get yeah. serious, this, man. We we can see, and a lot of people have gone through what you yeah. went through in a lot of ways. But man, it is good to see you on the other side. Of you it. know, Happy I appreciate it, and I appreciate you so much for having me. Thank no, you. Of course, and don't go anywhere just yet, Doctor okay. Ashton. You got some final thoughts for yep. us? Yep. Final thoughts here, inspired by this man himself about the benefits of laughter in medicine. Ah. Uh, pretty good data actually showing that it can improve our immune system and it can definitely break the ice in those stressful moments. Um, data definitely showing some benefits. Of not only laughing, but being funny during stressful times. Um, not just an improvement to our immune system, but our serotonin level. And you guys have heard me say this before, benefit versus risk. There's no risk to laughing. Well, we appreciate you making us laugh. Oh, thank that. you so thank much. And we're glad you survived. Yes, yes. That's 100%. the number one most important thing. <laughs> Me too. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, that's what you need to know for today. Thank you for spending part of your Friday Eve with us. We're going to see you right back here tomorrow. I'm Amy Robot. And I'm TJ Holmes. Appreciate you as always. I'm Michael Dose's new comedy show, I Never Thought, is coming your way on St. Patrick's Day. Everybody have a good one. We will see you back here tomorrow.
days you wake up and nothing works you feel surrounded gotta give your feet some gravity to get you grounded keep your things inside your ears just like the waves and sound it and just